Hey everyone, Justin Byers from JB Byers Woodworking. Uh, today we're doing some sawing and it is early. It's 8 o'clock and if you notice my shirt is already wet. I think it ended up being a high of like 101. Humidity was like 6,000 or something. But uh, it didn't take long to, to get pretty wet, pretty hot. Um, normally Ben and me normally knock his, uh, knock his logs out, but he brought his helper with him, uh, Loki, little fella there, and I'm going to tell you what, I really did appreciate uh, the extra help because uh, there was a few times I actually had to sit down. I thought, I'm going to let this young fella get a hold of these, and uh, I'm going to take a break. But, uh, yeah, we're sawing up some pecan and pine and some cedar um the pecan this actually came down in a storm as did the uh pine actually all these came down in a storm a couple of years ago finally getting around to getting them sawed up so uh a couple of pecan ones i'm just gonna get some nice pieces out of i don't know exactly what i'm gonna make may try to do some benches out of them um one of them uh cut it thick and it's gonna be a mantle for my sister um they've been she's been wanting one of those really thick live edge mantles for a while now so i had it cut thick and i had a piece of cedar cut real thick so she could kind of pick which one she kind of leaned toward um but these these pines um we just ended up squaring them up and cutting them uh all of them two inches um so my sister, she usually has a lot of projects that she wants to, you know, hey, can you do this for me? Or do you think this would be easy to do? So cutting all these out of um, two buys. So once I get them cleaned up and dimension, she's wanting a greenhouse. So I guess I'll be framing up a greenhouse shortly uh, in the future. I still have several shop builds that i want to try to get done to and get a couple of videos out for y'all um it's just, it's just been crazy busy i uh, hadn't been able to do a whole lot of filming and if you look here if you look at my shirt well there you go where i sit down but uh if you see my shirt is soaking wet already and we've only been at it for probably uh maybe 40 minutes or so and let me tell you this uh this wood miser the lt40 um from the lt35 or the lt30 that he did have this this thing is uh way easier to manipulate and uh cut and flip and turn and spin and i think it's on this log i'm not exactly sure but i think this log here we kind of had it offset a little bit further back toward the head and uh ben went to try to rolled around and it ends up flipping and going off the side of the mill so it was pretty pretty funny i gave him a hard time about that <laughs> And believe it or not, this, this meal is, is all wood miser meals really aren't that loud. It's, uh, it's, it's surprising how quiet these really are for, you know, having such a large motor on there. But, uh, I, if you think back, you know, several hundred years ago, well, how, how it used to be done. Um, I don't, I don't know if many of us would, uh, still be able to 
hack it or not because this is this makes life so much easier and efficient also um here i am cutting up we're cutting up uh, the cedar now and actually uh thanks to the other one um but kind of had to pull the other one in uh a little closer with my truck and uh my camera and my phone actually ended up syncing up with my truck and stopping so i had to restart and everything i didn't realize that it done that and my bluetooth was connected to it um but yeah this and if you if you've worked with cedar you know just a really nice aroma um we always always enjoy cutting cutting on this cedar and uh this was some really beautiful stuff it was almost purple um this was some really really red uh really rich cedar um and stuff here that we was cutting up and i think this is the one that i left that last six inches um on this one possibly to do some mantle pieces out of and i may later come back and just bring it up to ben and have him saw a few more boards out of it if i if i don't end up using it for a mantle and we get done cutting this and then i have some uh some of the aftermath when uh after we get done cutting and it's not there's uh there's loki again it, he's a really good guy uh got to hang out with him and he, he's super good super nice and uh respectful so here's the aftermath there's my lazy dog king american pit bull and I got all these are one inch boards. I cut several, you know, I cut a few logs I used and uh, did some one inch pieces. Inch, inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter. There's the uh, thick pieces of the pecan, 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 however you wanna say it. I, I say pecan, pecan, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is. Um, I actually ended up with, I think these are inch and a quarter on these pieces and yeah, I think they're an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. And then I have all the, well, there's a big piece of cedar. And I cut those at one inch, and that one was six inches thick. Then I have the all the pine. All the pine was, I uh, cut all of them two inches, except for a few of them that were uh, one inch. I did a few one-inch pieces, but they look like solid pieces. They just stacked up. You know, we pulled them off a mill, and it still looks like one thick piece, so. But all in all, I think it took us four and a half hours, maybe. Cut 13 logs up. So that's not bad. And now I get to do some cleaning, uh, hauling this stuff, burning this stuff, hauling it, throwing it down the burn pile. So, yeah, that's the fun part. But uh, I appreciate everybody. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. And here comes the 101 degree on the truck. Yeah, that was hot. But I appreciate everybody and keep making.